Governor Glenn Youngkin is standing firm on his decision to pardon Scott Smith. He is a Loudoun County father whose daughter was sexually assaulted at her school back in 2021. Now, Smith was charged after he was removed from the school board meeting. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming caught up with the governor today. Chris and Mark, the governor is steadfast in his belief that Scott Smith was wrongly charged for defending his daughter. And the governor tells me that this pardon had nothing to do with politics. It troubles me because it's for political purpose, not for justice. Buta Bibberai, the Commonwealth attorney for Loudoun County, is speaking out after Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin's decision to pardon a father charged with disorderly conduct. The governor has been a governor since January 2022. 21 months ago. If this wasn't for the political purpose to attack these elections, why didn't he do this 21 months ago, 20 months ago, 19 months ago? Scott Smith was that father. He was arrested during a school board meeting back in 2021 after his daughter had been assaulted by a boy wearing a skirt in a high school restroom. Governor Glenn Youngkin was here today to fire up the base for the state Senate election to win back control for the Republicans, but his pardon of Scott Smith, he says, was not political. I think Virginians think that's ridiculous. Governor Youngkin says the charges against Smith were wrong. Mr. Smith, first of all, should have never been prosecuted. Never. I mean, this is a dad standing up for his daughter who was sexually assaulted in the bathroom of a school and the school was covering it up. I'm sure it is making the base, you know, excited. Smith says Youngkin was right. We've got a full absolute pardon. Now it's time for people to start taking some responsibility. Meanwhile, Bibberai says Youngkin is pushing politics. Today he is in a church in Loudoun County talking about parents' rights. And this case has nothing to do with parents' rights. When I asked the governor if this pardon was constitutional, given that Smith had not yet been convicted, the governor told me that this was absolutely the right decision to make. Reporting in Leesburg, Virginia, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.